Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very exciting chess game by the magician from Riga, Mikhail Tal. And in this chess game, his opponent was Jonathan Spielman, a very strong English chess grandmaster, Jonathan Spielman, who was also three times chess champion of England. So this was a Blitz chess game from 1985. And we have to see the perspective of Mikhail Tal in this one because Mikhail Tal had the black pieces and this was an absolutely an amazing chess game, a must-see chess game by Tal. So, uh, okay, so Spielmann, who had the white pieces, starts the game with e4, and Tal played the Sicilian defense, knight to f3, e6, c3, and then charging at the center, we have the Alephin Sicilian, e takes on d5, e takes on d5, and then d4. So charging from the center, developing the knight, and then bishop to e3, c takes on d4, knight takes, knight to f6, bishop to e2. So far it is very normal. So both players are developing their pieces. Knight to d2, rook over, placing the rook in the half open file. So Spielmann is doing the same. And then a6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight. And Tal played h6, asking a question. Bishop takes knight is possible, but that is going to give up the bishop. So bishop to h4. And it is black to move, and this is one of the interesting moments of this chess game. So knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and then bishop to f5, according to the computer chess engine, is the most solid way to go, and that is very logical. And actually, computer engine gives black plus a uh, minus, almost minus one point advantage. So black is uh, much better in that variation, and black would have a very solid position. So you can see that in this position, black also has isolated queen's pawn. So maybe capturing the knight is not a bad idea. But the chess gods would not be happy if Tal would not sacrifice anything in a chess game. Tal played instead of knight takes knight. He played this bishop takes on h2 by Tal. The magician from Riga attacks. So king takes on h2, what else, excepting the Greek sacrifice, uh, the Greek gift, in fact. So knight to g4 by Tal, checking the king, and we have king to g3. So bishop takes knight is possible, and this was actually the most logical way to go. But Spielmann didn't want to play this, because he was probably uh, afraid because of queen takes bishop, and bishop to h3, capturing the bishop, capturing back, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and then queen takes on f2 and as you can see black is getting some compensation and this is looking dangerous for Spielmann but around here eh, after bishop takes on h3 a eh, white had in between move knight to f3 i believe around here and white was doing okay and white is winning actually so when you are playing against Mikhail Tal one mistake is all it takes for Tal so okay Let's take it back. So instead of knight takes knight, playing safe, Tal played bishop takes on h2. So king takes on h2 and then knight to g4. So king to g3, which was a mistake because Spielmann missed an unbelievable move. <laughs> I mean, absolutely unbelievable. I wonder if you can guess that move, which is tricky. So it looks like Tal's attack is fading away and there's black's attack. So Tal played this incredible move that Mr. Spielman missed. He played Rook to e3. Unbelievable. Well, we have Pawn takes Rook. Why did Tal play that move? Well, he wants to uh, open the diagonal and White is not going to push the Pawn and defend. But after Rook to e3, the other moves is not working. If King to f4, well, this is not good. Getting checkmated in one move. And if blocking, then check and checkmate, getting checkmated again. So after rook to e3 by Tal, capturing the rook, but still white is getting checkmated by force. So checking the king, only move, checking again, the knights are dance, dancing on the board. So knight to d3, king to f3, and then knight to h2 by Mikhail Tal, and checkmating his opponent at move 19. He checkmated the very strong British chess grandmaster at move 19. 
What an incredible, fantastic chess game by Michael Tull. And what happened to Mr. Spielman? What happened to Jonathan Spielman? Why did he lost? So if we have to evaluate these positions with using sophisticated chess computer engines, we can find the conclusion uh, that Tull happened to Spielman. Cut the nonsense, commentator. This is what happened. Tall happened. And in fact, what happened to Spielman happened to many other opponents of Mikhail Tall. They also got destroyed. One mistake is all it takes. So this is this is the simple explanation. What happened to Spielman happened to some other opponents of Tall. Sometimes. <laughs> Uh, once in a while. <laughs> okay, so uh, God help me. So thanks for watching. <laughs>